Hey guys, it's John Ray. It's not Monday. I'm coming through a little bit late this week, but uh, I am on the Suncoast bike trail and path, running path, I guess. Um, this section of the path is right off of State Route 50, where it hits 589 Veterans Expressway. Um, this is one of a couple spots in the area to park that's a little bit uh, more amenity filled than the little ones you can drive under underpasses and park, little places like uh, uh, on Shady Hills Road and there's a spot on Powell which is kind of a parking lot by a, a high school. However, if you come to a spot like this you've got a little bit more stuff you can see and do. For example, right behind me you'll see that there is uh, a little picnic area. You can stop, have lunch, there's a pavilion. Got uh, public restrooms right there which is very convenient if you're out here for a long time drinking lots of water on the trail. You're probably gonna wanna hit a bathroom eventually. Uh, also included in this spot are these great little tool and air pump uh, stations. There are a couple of them uh, in the area. There are you know, probably dozens along the entire 46 mile route of the Suncoast Trail, but uh, here is one of the spots uh, in the area that's close to get your bike tuned up, pumped up, whatever you need. I think the next one south is down at uh, Anderson Snow Road Park. So uh, for your $3 parking fee uh, to park at this parking lot, uh, you can start here and use these facilities, but you can start elsewhere and then just stop by and use these facilities. Um, you would only have to actually pay if you parked right here. So you can always swing by these from the other spots too. I would say after biking a significant portion of the Pasco and Hernando uh, sections of the Suncoast Trail that a general trend is that the southern portions down towards Tampa in Pasco and then down towards Hillsborough County are a bit flatter. They usually have a little bit more exposure to the sun, so if you're biking midday, you don't have much tree coverage to protect you. Uh, you get a little more hot and tired out there. But as you head north, you are accompanied with some tree coverage. It also gets hillier, so there's a bit more workout as you head up towards the Brooksville end of the uh, Suncoast Trail. As the sign denotes, this is the bike and footpath bridge that goes over State Route 50, and you can see Obviously that's Veterans Express Way 589 right there. So we're almost right on top of the highway right now. So as you're following the Suncoast Trail, most of the other uh, roads you cross won't be bridges like this because the roads aren't that busy. But as you can see, this is like six, seven lanes of traffic. Kind of helps to have a footbridge. So anyway, like I said, there's a number of spots you can actually jump onto the Suncoast Trail. Uh, this just happens to be a convenient one. If you happen to be on Route 50 or on uh, 589 and you hop off in this area, uh, there's a parking lot, there's amenities if you need, and then you can get right on the trail. And this uh, little footbridge is kind of cool to look at, and you can get a good view of traffic if you want to. And uh, kind of fun to ride down at the end too. So Anyway, I'm signing off. Uh, that's this area. I wish I had my bike with me today. I'd get out on the trail, but it's uh, also pleasant to walk. So if you find yourself over this direction, and you want a little stroll, I give it a recommendation. All right, guys, I'll catch up with you in seven days.